Bow making can be a fun hobby at home and a means for catching some calories in a survival situation. Curve this bow from a sapling or tree branch, then string it with some of the strongest cordage you can get. It is surprisingly quick and easy. Some of the best wood for making bows include Osage Orange, Yew, Ash, Black Locust and Hickory. Most hardwoods like oak and maple will work. Start with a relatively straight sapling or branch that is free of knots, side branches and twists, about 6 feet 2 meter long and 2 inches 5 cm in diameter. It should be dead and dry, but have no sign of rot. Cut it carefully to avoid creating any cracks in the wood. This piece is now your bow stave. Stand the stave upright on the ground, hold the top loosely with one hand and lightly push down until the middle bows outward. It should swivel to show you which way it is naturally curved or more bendable. The outside bend of this curve is called the back and the inside bend is the belly. Don't touch the back, any damage to it can cause the bow to break. Mark out a handhold area in the middle of the bow by marking 3 inches 7.5 cm out from the center in both directions. The area above the handhold is the upper limb and the area below is the lower limb. Put the bottom tip of the bow on the ground, hold off the top tip and push slightly outward from the belly side of the handhold. Observe how the limbs bend and note any areas that do not bend, then use a knife to slowly and carefully remove wood from the stiff parts of the belly. Remember, only remove wood from the belly side. The goal is to get the limbs to bend in an even curve. Double check the bend frequently until both limbs are flexing evenly throughout their length. Curve small notches on each tip, being careful not to curve into the back of the bow. They only need to be deep enough to keep a bow string in place. Tie loops into both ends of a nylon, sinew, paracord or plant fiber string. You want about 5 to 6 inches, 13 to 15 cm of space between the strings and the handhold when the bow is strong. Don't fully draw the bow yet, doing so can break it. Hang the bow horizontally on a branch by the handhold and pull the string a few inches downward. You want each limb to bend evenly and symmetrically. This final shaping is called tailoring and it is one of the most important steps. Shave, scrap, sand and curve the belly of each limb until both limbs bend equally and evenly. Recheck frequently, pulling down on the string a little bit further each time until you are able to pull it to your drown length. The distance between the handhold and where your fingers hold the bowstring when pulled back to your upper jaw. Thanks for watching, until next time!